Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney. Happy Friday! I'm here to show you some updates to my fall capsule wardrobe. If you missed the original video, which is the bulk of my fall capsule wardrobe, I will link that up here. Um, so make sure you go. It'll make more sense maybe when I'm talking about the updates if you've not already seen that video to go ahead and watch that. But before we get into my updates, I have a couple things I made, a couple things I bought secondhand, and two things that I bought new. So um, yeah, we'll be going through three things that I bought new. So we'll be going through all of that. Um, but before we get into that, today is Friday, which means we have a Love Notions Feature Friday pattern, and that is the Tab of the Top, which is $5 today only. All right, fun facts about the Tab of the Top. I've not made the Tab of the Top, but it is the sister pattern to the Tessa sheath dress, which I love. It's one of my favorite patterns. Um, but the Tab of the Top is basically the Tessa as a top. So all of the necklines, the different necklines that you can put onto the Tabitha, you can also put onto the Tessa. Also, because the Tessa is meant to go with the Sybil skirt, where you can um, cut it off at the waist and put any of those Sybil skirts onto the bottom of the um, Tessa, you can also do the same with the Tabitha. <laughs> so any of those different necklines and stuff with the Tabitha can also be mashed onto the Sybil skirt as well to give you all sorts of different knit dress combinations. So it's a good one. Again, I've not made it yet, but it's got some really cute details. Um, in fact, I've even seen a couple of ready-to-wear stuff for fall. I follow some fashion um, Instagram influencers and stuff. I just like to stay on top of some of that th those things where there's quite a bit of the um, sweaters that have the uh, the faux shirt tail coming out the bottom, which is one of the views of this top. So it is definitely, um, I've been seeing that for fall. So um, something that you may want to grab if that's something that interests you. So there you have it, guys. The Tabitha, grab it now while well, it's $5 today only. And when you use the code TKS10, you get an additional 10% off that sale price. Okay, let's get into today's video. So I have six clothing items to show you, two pairs of shoes and one accessory that I'm wearing um, that are kind of updates to my fall capsule. Now I use the Everyday Style Capsule Wardrobes as kind of a framework or a guide for my own capsules. Um, I don't, very rarely do I use exactly the color palette she has laid out, um, but I use a I kind of make my own because I want to stay within my own personal color palette for my colors. Um, but I love using, number one, I love using her uh, capsules as a, a grid work just so I'm staying current with things. I can look at, you know, the styles that are in, um, maybe some things that are trending that I want to try um, just to make sure that my wardrobe is staying current. Uh, now, I don't buy all these things. In fact, a lot of times I'll look at um, a garment that she's picked for the capsule and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I know exactly what pattern I could use for that. Or I could, you know, tweak this favorite pattern of mine and easily get that. And so most of the time it's just me buying a couple of some yards of fabric. Um, this year I did put out my fall capsule before her capsules came out though. So this is just kind of a little bit of my edit. I'm not taking anything out of the previous capsule that I showed you. These are just a few things that I'm adding in. And a couple, two of them are things that I had planned to make um, anyway, that I showed they were plans that were in that original fall capsule wardrobe that I've gotten made up. So um, I'm still four, there are still four things I would like to make up for my fall capsule. We'll see if that happens. Um, I'm really hopeful. I've got one cut out and um, two that'll be pretty quick. The closet core flight suit is going to be a little bit more involved, but I already have the pattern prepped and ready for that. So um, I think that's like a weekend project um, to get that done. So hopefully those four things do show up at some point, but you'll see those when I do my weekly outfits, I'm sure, um, as those things get made up. But I just wanted to go through some of the edits since that um, fall capsule came out. I will link the capsule down below um, if you're interested. I am an affiliate, which means I do get paid a small commission from Everyday Style for anyone that um, buys off that link. So just to keep, keep a heads up on that. Um, but I do buy those capsules with my own money. So I purchase it for myself with my own money. Um, I just really, really like them. All right, let's get into the pieces. Again, let's see, I've got two, three things that I bought brand new. Um, two things that I, three things that I made, and then two things that I bought, three things that I bought on consignment. <laughs> 
So um, yeah, three, three, and three, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, nine things. So yes, three things that I bought new, three things that I bought secondhand um, are on consignment, and then three things that I made. So um, let's get through with this. As a reminder, these are the colors that I'm working for in my fall capsule. I'm working with a chocolate brown, an ivory, and then I think I might be saying these out of order from what you're seeing them, but olive green, kind of a um, chartreuse, limey green, which I'm actually taking liberty and also putting my marigold color in there a little bit. Um, well, this isn't part of my fall capsule. It's just, it's warm today. So <laughs> I've got a summer dress on, but um, kind of bringing the marigold in a little bit. And then um, my warm red, and then I've gone with pink. You're, there's not a ton of pink in the capsule. Um, in fact, it's really only in my skirt, which was my um, jump off point for my color palette, but I've got a pair of pants and a pair of shoes that um, I'm bringing in that pink as well, because that is not in my color palette. Although the way that these pink pants turned out, this is a little closer to the pink in my color palette. I meant for it to be cooler, but we'll talk about that when I get there. <laughs> All right, so let's start with our tops, then we'll go to a topper, and then I've got three bottoms, and then we'll talk about shoes and accessories. So the first thing that I grabbed, and this I did buy from the um, capsule, is um, a couple, I actually bought three new of these. This is um, J. Crew Factory sells these, they're called the Teddy Sweater, and it is a um, cotton and I think, is it just wool or is it merino? Um, merino, yeah. They're a cotton and merino wool blend. I just, I mean, I don't. I, I knit, but I don't knit this fine, and I love these as layering sweaters. These will really come in more handy as the weather gets cool, so when we get into, like, um, winter, really. Um, but I love these for layering over a thin sweater just to layer over my button-up shirts. I wear them as it, like, alone. It's like a t-shirt. So I love layering them over things and under things. Um, I had three of them that were in my wardrobe, and all three had to go this season because they were just, I'd worn them to death. Um, I had a navy one, a poppy red one, and a camel one. So, um... For the fall, I've replaced, I replaced them with three new ones, uh, not the same colors though. I got this color, which is kind of a, an olive green color. It might be coming up a little darker on camera. Um, and then I got, I did replace my camel one with another new camel one. <laughs> and then I got a marigold one, like this color, um, cause you guys know how I love that color. I was only gonna get two, but um, when I saw they had that marigold color, you know, I have to buy it because it's one of my favorite colors to wear and you don't see it very often. Um, but this is the one coming into my um, fall wardrobe. The other two I'll probably save until winter, which is when, you know, I probably won't even be wearing this until it gets a little closer to winter. Although I shouldn't say that. We've had some cool mornings where it's nice to have some layers. But um, I just really love these. And so this is something that I will buy um, full price. And again, I think I got two or three seasons out of my previous three, and I wear them a ton. And I wash them and let them air dry um, on delicate. I wash them on delicate and let them air dry. And yeah, they've worked out really, really well. So I did add a new one of these to my capsule. I have also added, now this is kind of sweater-ish. This is, let's see, what are you watching this? I film things out of order, so sometimes I have to stop and think. This is the Sew Along that will be on Sunday. So I filmed a Sew, sew Along. This is the Itch to Stitch Zacca Payne top, and um, I filmed the Sew Along for making this one. Um, it's not hard, it's just a one part Sew Along, so just a one day there on Sunday. Um, but I just had a lot of questions about how to do the twist and if that was hard the last time I made this. Um, I made mine out of a merino jersey from the fabric store down in New Zealand. This is the lemongrass color. Um, so it's a little, um, I don't know, it's in between like a lime and a, a green and a yellow. Like almost, it's almost an acid green. I love this color though. Um, technically the color on my color palette's a little bit clearer than what this is, but I still think that this looks good. It has enough of that warmth in there. It makes my eyes pop. I love this this top. So yes, not only have I made um, this up, and this was one of the um, items that I had planned um, in the fall capsule that I was gonna be making, uh, but uh, yeah, I can't wait to get this one made. The beauty about Merino, it is expensive. Now, Merino jersey is expensive. This is 100% Merino jersey. It's got a lot of great mechanical stretch in it, though. Um, it just naturally bounces back into shape, I think, just with the fiber of the Merino. But um, it is naturally antimicrobial, and it is um, wicking, so it keeps you warm in the winter and cool in the summer. So it's a great base layer and um, just a really good fabric to have if you want some nicer pieces for that um, colder weather or even warmer wet weather. I have a couple of tanks in the Merino that work really great for the um, warm months. Anyway, 
very excited to have the Zaka Payne now in my wardrobe. All right, so we have a purchased, a made, and this is a consigned slash secondhand item. So um, Jenny and I, when we got the um, capsule wardrobe we were going through, and one of the things, I don't think I'm giving too much away, is an updated denim layering piece. So um, there were quite a few different options. She's great at those links, um, which I just use as inspiration a lot of the times. But sometimes I will buy a jacket or like a sweater. Um, sometimes pants, just if I'm not feeling like making a pair of jeans, I'll buy stuff um, from her links. But um, when we looked at it, we decided to go to the consignment store. So if you are not in the U.S., um, I know that it can get confusing. A consignment store is like a thrift store or a, a charity shop or um, just a secondhand shop. A lot of times with consignment though, uh, because the percentage goes back to the person that brought it in, it's not just a donation. Um, so they'll be a little bit more expensive than say just a regular thrift shop, but you can get some really nice pieces. Now this is not a denim color, but I mean technically the denim color is not in my color palette anyway. Um, but this is denim. It's a denim and a marigold. It's a Calvin Klein shacket and denim in this marigold denim. And it's just too good. <laughs> it's just too good. So I will probably always wear it with the sleeves rolled up. Their sleeves are a little bit long on me. I mean, I could unpick and shorten the sleeves. That is just way more work than I want to put into it. I very rarely leave the sleeves down anyway. I just like the way rolled sleeves look on my arms. So um, I am so excited about this being another layering piece in my wardrobe. So this is my updated denim piece. Um, even though it's not in a denim color, um, it is denim fabric just in this marigold. And I think I got it for, I don't know, 10 bucks or something. So um, secondhand. So very excited about bringing this into my wardrobe. Jenny made a killing. The day that we went secondhand shopping for that, Jenny made a killing. She got so much of her capsule wardrobe just at the consignment store and in her own color palette. She also adjusted the color palette to be her Moonlit Summer um, colors. So it was a good day. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna get into bottoms. All right, so these are the bottoms that I purchased. This is, um, I was wanting a pair of cargo pants. I knew at the time when I bought these that the Love Notions cargo pants, I, would, I was testing for those and that that would be coming out. Um, but I couldn't find any pink um, twill that I really liked. And then I got in my head that I really wanted a velvet pair. So I'm like, I'm just gonna buy a pair of cargos <laughs> and um, we'll see if I can you know, get the, find the pink that I want. So I found these, these are American Eagle, and they were really icy pale pink. Uh, like really, they were more for spring, because these were on sale, uh, marked down, oh, got from like $80 or $90 marked down to 40. I think I paid $40 for them. Um, they are in a stretch Lyocell 12, and I dyed them. So I did this on Instagram. In fact, you can see it's got some fun contrasting um, stitching. So the pale pink is still the color of the stitching. I mean, they were really, I wanted a cool pink, but these were really pale. They just didn't read fall to me. So I wanted to darken them up again. I used the fuchsia writ dye to do this. I kind of wish I'd gone with the rose to make them just a little bit cooler. This came out a bit warmer pink, although I was over dyeing. So it was a pink pair of pants that I was dyeing a different shade of pink. Um, so I wasn't really sure what I was gonna get. And I did not leave these in the dye very long. I did not leave them in the full 30 minutes. Um, I like them and I think that they are a great addition. And this was more the pink I was going for, the pink of these shoes, but I think that they still go really well together. Um, and again, I didn't technically, I mean, this is a warmer pink. I probably could wear this up by my face a little easier, but um, I, yeah, I just wanted a few nods of pink. So I was going more for bubblegum pink, but got kind of this, um, it's not really a magenta. I don't know what color you would call this. It's a warm pink, but. <laughs> But I, I really like them. Now I have I have been on a um, an eating plan trying to um, for inflammation. It's trying to de-inflame my my body got very inflamed this summer with allergies, and um, I'm on trying to uh, mitigate that right now. So these are big on me. Um, my weight fluctuates so much, um, and they grow throughout the day, which is a little bit annoying. But these are going to be pants I'll have to wash and dry every time I wear them. I think just so they kind of shrink back into shape a little bit but I wanted them baggy. That was kind of the look I was going for. Um, yeah. Jenny bought the same pair in um, a, a kind of a dusty olive green that's in her color palette, and she was noticing the same thing on hers. But um, anyway, you know, for 40 bucks, 
I will wear these all, all fall and um, see where that takes me. But yes, this was a fun dyeing experiment. I did it all on Instagram so you guys could kind of see what was going. And, uh, you know, just a, it was just a bottle of red dye. Okay, next are my Love Notions Largo Cargos. Guys, when I was testing for these, cargo pants are very in, by the way, for this um, fall, if you haven't seen them around everywhere. Um, and texture is really big this fall, too. I'm seeing a lot of faux leathers and velvets and satins and um, just a lot of, of more textured fabrics, which makes sense for fall. But um, when I was trying to decide what I wanted to use, I made one pair in some leftover Marigold Twill. Um, they ended up being a little bit snug, so and she made some adjustments to the pattern after that. I still may go back, especially as I'm like, de-inflaming. I've kept them in my wardrobe, so there's a good chance. They weren't horribly too tight. I just noticed a, they were just a little snug in the hip, um, but I'll probably be able to wear them, hopefully, here soon, a little more comfortably. But she made some adjustments to the pattern, added the full belly piece, which makes a huge difference for my frame. And um, I made these in velvet or cotton velveteen. So it's a cotton velvet. I'm so glad that I made these up. <laughs> I am so excited to wear these all fall and into the winter. Um, cotton velvet um, breathes really easily because it's a cotton fiber, um, but it'll still keep me warm. It'll be easy to wear with different boots and stuff and um, fun for the holidays even. I mean, I feel like there's a lot I'm going to be able to do with this chocolate brown pair of pants. Um, Minerva no longer has the chocolate brown color, but they do have quite a few other colors. So um, I will link the fabric for this down below um, because they do still have some of that. I'll also link fabric. Um, I'll link the patterns and stuff, but I'll link the fabric for this as well. Um, because they do still have some of that, but yes, love those. And then finally, I have my Spencer woven pants. So you guys, I had a sew along for these, um, but this was a pair that I wanted to make and, um, it was in my plans back in the previous, um, fall video. Got them made up. Absolutely love them. They're way too warm to wear at the moment, but that won't be all the, you know, always the case. It gets cold here in Indiana because um, they're fully lined and they're a wool gabardine. So um, this was just a fabric I had in my stash, but I'm going to wear these a ton. Um, I love them dressed up with like boots verse, and as well as dressed down with sneakers. I think they're great with blazers. They're great with t-shirts. It's just a fun tailored pair of trousers, and I think I'm going to be surprised how much I do wear these. Because um, I typically, you know, I grab more casual pants, um, jeans, that sort of thing, when in the colder months, like these cargo pants. But I, I think I'm going to be surprised how much I reach for these as well. Um, I grab my Upland trousers a ton, which those are kind of like a khaki pant. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing how much I, I wear these, especially because they are lined, so I, they aren't itchy. Um, but yes, my new Spencer Woven Pants, love those. So those are the six new garments that I added to my capsule wardrobe, and then I've added in two new pairs of shoes. The first, I also consigned these, or got these secondhand. These are J. Crew. they were in my size, hardly worn. I mean, the bottoms, I've worn them a um, couple of times, but even so, like hardly worn at all. This is a calf skin and kind of a, a deer um, print, I guess. It's not deer, but um, it is a, a calf skin. It's got the texture to the boot. Um, the higher shaft on the boot, which is supposed to be very in this fall to get the higher shaft. I did, I like the block heel. It's just more comfortable on my back. <laughs> I know that the kitten heels and more of the, the thinner heels are kind of coming back in, but I'm, I'm going to stick with the block heel. Um, but it's got a nice pointed toe on it as well. And um, gosh, I think I got these. I have a pair of other J. Crew that are a leopard um, pattern, but also a calfskin boot that I got from J. Crew, but they were on deep discount. I think I paid like $50 for them and they were originally like $250 or something. Um, I bought these for $40 and um, so I know that these were probably in the $250 range originally. I'm just so excited to have these. Um, yeah, I, I love these and you'll see me, I'll be wearing these a ton. So those also I bought consignment. And then I bought new, these are the Adidas Gazelle Bolt. So they are a platformed shoe. 
And um, my sister and I, when she was visiting me not long ago, we each bought a pair. Now my sister is a summer and I am a, a spring. And um, we decided, so she was like, well, should I get the pink? Cause this color is in her color palette. She is a sunlit summer. And um, I was, we just both decided that with it being on our feet, it would actually be a fun contrast to everything that we're wearing if we went opposite of our color palette. I'm like, perfect, I can bring in the pink that I'm wanting for my fall wardrobe. So she went with the warm red color because she just said, wouldn't that be good with jeans and like a lavender sweater because lavender is one of her best colors um, in her color palette. I said, yes, that would be a fun pop of color. I said, likewise, wouldn't these be wonderful with jeans and like a warm red sweater for me? <laughs> up by my face and so we decided to that that made sense so we each bought a pair of um the adidas gazelle bolts um the bolts are the ones that just have a nice platform on there which i like the added height uh, makes them look a little bit more current but it's still a tennis shoe that's nice and comfy and they're suede they're just really beautiful so those were the two new pairs of shoes that I added. And then finally, one of the things in the capsule wardrobe that she talked a lot about were statement studs. So stud earrings, but they were interesting and kind of a more of a statement. Um, kind of thinking like 80s, like things that my mom wore um, in the early 80s or even maybe what my grandmothers wore in the 60s. Um, just those real like bigger statement um, studs. And when we were secondhand shopping, I found these Kate Spade earrings. They're tortoise shell, but look at those set and in, in, it's uh, gold metal. They're not really gold, but you know, gold metal. But look at those earrings. Aren't those fun? I just am so excited to wear these all um, fall and into the winter. I love a good tortoise shell. It's a great color for me. And um I think I paid $10 for them, but they're Kate Spade. So, um, and I sanitized them, you know, cause it is, I sanitized them really well when I got home just to make sure, um, I'm sure the shop does that, but I, just to make sure I sanitize them as well as when I got home. So I am all set now for my fall capsule wardrobe. And I feel like a lot of this is going to be taken over into my winter ward wardrobe. In fact, I probably will make minimal adjustments to my color palette even for fall. I may take the pink out for, I mean, for winter, I may take the pink out and replace it with like the marigold color, um, just because I like that bright pop of color, um, especially as we go into the drearier months when we get into the winter. I mean, we'll wait and see. And my plan is to have the winter capsule probably about October, uh, maybe mid to late October, beginning of, of November. Um, so if you are sewing for your winter capsule, kind of give you, um, I'm trying to get ahead of the game so you have more time to sew for the season that's upcoming. So that's kind of my thoughts. And then I'll probably do an update once she releases the winter capsule at the beginning of December or middle, middle of December. So that is kind of my plan. Um, another thing I love about the capsule wardrobes is that she does calendars, outfit calendars. I don't always pick, you know, if Tuesday's outfit is a dress and I'm going to be, you know, schlepping around doing something I don't want to have a dress on. I'll, you know, switch them, but it's just so handy to be able to look at a calendar and I have, um, just put, you know, um, if she has a red sweater, for instance, as her, or a pink sweater as her, um, piece for that category. And I've replaced that with a red sweater. Well, then I just plug in what I have replaced it with, um, into that calendar. And, uh, yeah, it makes getting dressed really easy. I just love that they have that feature on those as well. So if you're interested in the, in the guide as well, I will link it down below. Um, there's a whole bunch that comes with the guide now. You get access to all of her uh, master classes. You get access to a Facebook group. There's all sorts of stuff. It's the style circle now, um, but the price stayed the same. So you can get it quarterly for um, $49, which is what the capsule cost before. And that'll get you three months of all the extras as well, plus that quarter's um, capsule guide. So very cool that you have those added things that you didn't have before. You had the Facebook group before, but not access to all of the uh, master classes, which is really, really fun. All right, guys, that is all I have for today. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, I'm back on Sunday with the Zaka Payne So Along, so meet me here for that. And then um, big announcement. I've got a um, save the date. I'm doing another live meet and greet. Forgot to mention this at the beginning. Doing another live meet and greet. And um, you want to be on the newsletter for that. There are limited spots. And um, the newsletter subscribers are going to have first stab at that. So that newsletter will be coming out on Monday. And then Tuesday's video, we're going to be talking about Ponte fabrics and patterns you can use very easily for your Ponte fabrics. And it's not, I, I threw in some interesting ones, ones that you may not have 
thought you could use Ponte fabric on. So um, yes, I've got 10 patterns that you can use with Ponte also on Tuesday. And then what do we have on Friday? Oh, the Distashify is on Friday, my Distashify makes. So we've got a lot of really fun and exciting things coming up. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. All right, guys, have a good Friday. Get some sewing in this week, uh, weekend, and I will see you again on Sunday. Bye.